Hello, fifth graders. If you have clicked on this video, that means you have decided to play the French horn. And let me tell you, I love this instrument. I think it is very cool. So congratulations. To start us off, I would like to first give you a few fun facts about the French horn. It made its debut in a ballet in Paris in the year 1664. When the French horn is uncoiled, the horn is between 12 and 13 feet long. That's pretty crazy. So you probably know by now that when you play the French horn, you have to place your hand inside the bell. And that isn't just to hold it in position. It actually does affect the pitch of your notes. The French horn has the widest range of notes of any brass instrument, so that's pretty cool. And because the French horn has such small note intervals, it is often referred to as one of the hardest instruments to play. But even if it's difficult, I believe in you, so you got this. The first thing we're going to go over is how to put the French horn together, and lucky for us, it is pretty simple. You're only going to be working with two pieces for the French horn assembly. So you grab the body of the French horn, and then you grab the mouthpiece, and when you put it in, slide it in, and then to secure it, you twist it, and you'll feel when it's secure. That's all you gotta do, now you're ready to play. The mouthpiece for the French horn is pretty small, so before you begin practicing, I highly recommend just taking it off and blowing into it to practice. Because that's exactly what you're going to do when you play into the instrument, and this can be a nice warm-up. So the hand placement for the French horn is pretty unique. So you're just going to cup your hand right about like this. Nothing too awkward. Just naturally cup your hand and lay it in the bell just about like this. And then you just bring it towards, and you'll... Play it with your hand like that. And yes, as you're playing, your hand might get a little hot and maybe even a little wet from the spit and all the air that you're blowing through it, but it's worth it. <laughs> the French horn also does have very small note intervals. When you're first starting, it might be difficult to reach each note without getting that wobbly sound, but it's completely normal. The more you practice, the better you'll get, I promise. The way you empty your spit from the French horn is pretty unique as well. There is no spit valve, so what you're going to do is, if you're playing like this, to empty the spit, you're literally going to turn it in a circle. You're going to go to the trash can, you're going to spin it around like so, and then all the spit will come dripping out the bell into the trash can. I actually messed up here. First, you'll take the mouthpiece off the French horn, then you'll turn it in a circle, and the spit will actually come out of the mouthpiece side of the French horn. It won't come out the bell. So that is how you empty the spit valve on a French horn. So now that we have hit a few different points on the French horn, I believe you are ready to start practicing. So I wish you the best of luck. You got this.